thank you for this opportunity that I'm having me today. Um, I'm from Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, my name is Shahab Bashar. I, I work with community crop and uh, as a farm specialist. Uh, we are non-profit based in Lincoln. I uh, found in 2003. Uh, we manage around 19 acres across Lincoln. Farm, garden, micro farm, and greenhouse. We have, uh, this year we have 10 community garden, two farm sites, one uh, micro farm, and two production greenhouse. We also provide advocacy and education. Uh, Lincoln is one of the, I think it's very diverse. There's a lot of refugees from different backgrounds. And the population about close to 300,000. There's 293,000 people in Lincoln. It's a college town and uh, it's very diverse, uh, especially uh, for people from Middle East. There's a lot of uh, refugee from Iraq, uh, Syria, from uh, Middle East in Gerard. We have around uh, 10, we have 10 farmers and uh, about 200 gardeners. So in this, uh, in, uh, in community gardens, uh, from, they speak different language and they are from different backgrounds. My, many of you ask, well, what does Yazidi mean, right? <laughs> Something is just new to you, maybe. Uh, I'm from Yazidi community. Yazidi are a minority in the north side of Iraq. Uh, Ethno-religious groups, they are not Muslim, it's different than uh, Muslim. They are well, they're speaking Kurdish, Kurmanji mostly. Uh, they've been through the genocide in 2014 by ISIS. They killed and kidnapped about 12,000 of my community. By the way, I am one of the survivors. I have, a, I have three girls and a wife. But when I can't realize that my girls was two years old. So... We survived the genocide. Uh, incredibly, we survived. And it was so hard to survive with all of this attack. So, um, how I came to the United States, uh, my family worked with the U.S. Army. My uncles, my brothers, my brother-in-law, many of my family served in the U.S. Army. So we get a special, we, because our life was in danger in Iraq, we get a speci special visa to come to the United States. We have a lot of uh, background uh, farming back to Iraq. When the uh, United States and Terry, one, I think, or Terry, two other countries, mixed section of Iraq, we had to grow our food. So we couldn't, uh, there was like a lot of food you couldn't find. It. I, until 2003, I didn't see any banana or like kind of orange or any avocado. We couldn't eat. I, we didn't see this food. There was no electricity, so we reserved it. We dried a lot of food. We grow all of us, especially Yazidi. There is no exception. All Yazidi were farmers and farming a large area, especially tomato, cucumber, and watermelon. Uh, also, uh, my, grand, my grandfather and my father and my grandfather were uh, farmers and doing depending on the farm. Yazidi, this group in the United States around, not sure yet. We are doing some data collection, but it's around four to five thousand people. Uh, most of them we are in Lincoln, Nebraska. Some some refugee from our community came, and then the other come to to them. It's like that. So we we come to. For Lincoln's and we now we call Lincoln's home in Nebraska. Uh, 
In 2019, I get opportunity to join the community crops as a translator interpreter for three languages that I speak Kurdish, Kurmani, Sorani, and Arabic. So I became a farmer with the with community crop, it's non profit organizations. And uh, they wanted to, they have already many gardeners from our community, and this gardener wanted the more land. They told me we have a program it's called Yazidi Training Programs, and uh, we need farmers. So I, in 2019, I used to, be, I, 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 I was a teacher teaching students uh, basic English. So I, but my student asked, what's your idea to become a farmer? Finally, I found three farmers. They told me, ah, this, we need four farmers. I told them I could be a farmer. So I joined them and we become a team of farmers. We looked for the seeds. Before I came to the United States, people told me the most things you will face would be the food. It's culture. It's shut. There's no it would be very difficult. Uh, in 2017, I came when I came, I, you know, no money, no things. The basic things I have, the government gave me some snap. I buy food from Super Saver, from Walmart. To be honest, there was no taste. It was like, the food was like plastic. No taste, no smell, no any, anything. It's, there was a sh I shut it. I said, right, it's hard. It was I want to return to my country, even as dangerous, because of the food. Uh, after I joined Comte Crops, I went to farmer's market and I brought some, some of this produce to my wife. I thought, yeah, I get a surprise for you. It's from Iraq. When I show her the, the food, she said, wow, where did you get this food? I thought, it's grown here. You go by local bar farmers. Then, we started to grow our own food. And um, the, the food, the, I look for the seeds that the produce we couldn't find in the markets. I asked my community, we are a lot here. Many Kurdish, many Yazidi, many Arab, many, many people from Middle East, at least 1,000, 10,000 people just in Lincoln. There is no cutting celery. There is no garden trees. There is no a lot of daikon radish. You couldn't find any daikon radish. There's no pickling peppers. It's kind of the sweet peppers we call gorbachi, or some of them is very similar to Lombardo from Italy. I get the seed from the seed from Italy. Also, there's no green eggplants. There's no no a lot of eggplants. So that would the community crabs team to order these seeds and grow it. First year, we were not very successful. We didn't give up and we tried to find the customer and make trust people that is grown here. Now we are these farmers, about six of these farmers. We are 10, six of them from the community. We are feeding 10,000 people with the cutting celery garden, crush, thousands and thousands and thousands of bunnies of food produce. The community is happy and they are buying more and the farmers traveling more. So there, there was always some challenge for these farmers to adapt to the, to, to, to the new environment. As you know, back to Iraq, there was no wheat separation there. It was just easy. The dry lands and the water, in there was no wheels. But one of the biggest challenge was um, the wheat problem. So we... We day and the night we are working, we couldn't control the weeds. Community crop is based on the farmer's need and, and struggle and challenge. Found a ground with the SARS for three years about weed separation study for culturally important crops. My many of you say, why are you choose pickling paper and uh, uh, eggplant? There's these two projects chosen for the, because uh, farmers concern about this, and they, there's a lot of weed. We all go this uh, two products. Speaking paper is the sweet papers like seeds, sweet, and 
it, it looks like Gorbachev. We use Gorbachev and the Lombardo variety, but it's from, I think Gorbachev is Turkish sweet people. First year, uh, we worked, uh, the ground was over from SARS and uh, the, the person was in charge of it, Dr. Sam Wortman from the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska. With his student, they designed the project. The thickest farmers participating in the projects, uh, uh, and we used the seed of the pickling papers and eggplant. Like I said, the design of the project was for, for Dr. Sams and his student, but the data collections team of the community crabs, which we are four member of teams from uh, community crab, we helped them. First year, what we did, uh, with control strategy, we tested the straw, with chirps, pine weeding, and uh, geotech landscape. Uh, four, pl four plots and four, uh, I guess, four control platforms, sorry, and four uh, experiment plots. Data collected from these four plots uh, was yielded the data of the real produce. Uh, this damage also uh, with count. Year one result so mulching provide better wheat separation than tan wheat, which was not uh, different than control. Benefit of the straw mulch declined over the time, so was no benefit for it. The co control plants were hand weeded, so mulching provide no yield benefit, but the geotex was one of the, 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 the experiment farmers liked it. There was a lot of benefit. Uh, of the using uh, the landscape, the geotex. Uh, for the year two, uh, based on the last 2021 experiment, uh, what farmer notes and the team of the Dr. Sams and the country crops, we used the geotex. All farmers wanted to use geotex. For, so for the first year, uh, who of you are Farmers now may flee beetles at taking the eggplant. Some years a lot, some years not. So based on our experience for first years, we did the, uh, the same of the two products, eggplant and the pickling papers. But uh, this year with the, we're using the geotex, using the, the method of covering, based and covering, using the raw covers. So tested in sink barrier, which is raw cover to the control three beetles in 2022, based of the, yeah, the, the 2021. Barrier, of course, the barrier reduced the, the, uh, the injury of in eggplant. We didn't, I was one of the participants and one of the team in the managing it. There was no affecting anything this for, uh, the papers. Paper is not a thing. I'll just take uh, for the year three. The the experiment repeated. The same experiment repeated. Uh, uh, yeah, and same barrier was repeated. Twenty twenty three benefit only absorbed in the two plot of the egg plant, not for the uh, pickling papers. Outcome on farming, what was the result of what, what we did? Farmer like a new things. And farmer learned some things about uh, the raw cover. So, you know, three bits of some, some years, very bad. They eat all eggplants. And our community is, the eggplant, one of the very popular and also papers, but the eggplant is, people, people did affect by the three bits just the eggplant is so now our uh, our farmers using uh, the geotex the landscape a lot and they are there's more the increase in the productions in the beginning of the years when transplants from the greenhouse 
to the, the land as we are using uh, the raw cover until the eggplant grow to become like less than a month, they will not be affected by the flea beetles. So uh, also using this landscape geotex, it reduce the labors, you know, a lot of work weaving. We have video for forest first year, we have uh, translated material, also we have a uh, year of workshop. Amy Jardis, my co worker, is supposed to do this presentation. For some reason, she couldn't come. So she's an expert in the farming, and uh, her emails here, my emails. Uh, I would thank you for listening, and I will thank SARS if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening, and you always. Email me or Amy for if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sahab. We are very pleased to have you. It was a very thought provoking and uh, insightful uh, perspective to understand food products, especially from the coming from different backgrounds and how important the food is for you.